Now we're back. We're going to finish up this little port right here. Okay, now if you look at that port real close down in there, you'll notice that all those little rough bumps and everything, they're gone. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna spin it the other way real quick. For this one, I gotta stand up. Start on the inside again. Clean up your seat. You'll start feeling it in a bit once it once you know once those imperfections start leaving. You'll feel it, and everything will smooth out, and the bit will smooth out. So just keep working it. Okay. Now we have those imperfections taken care of. Get you a little light here so you can see. Those imperfections are taken care of. So now spin the head just the same as we did the other one. Get my foot pedal in place. Start here, go back. Just start working it. And you know, we're, we're about halfway done now. This is an exhaust port, so it has to be pretty smooth because we don't want, we don't want, you know, combustion to, to build up. We don't want uh, carbon to build up on it. So we'll actually smooth this down real good. There goes another bit. Once you hear a helicopter like that, pull it out. But that one's, uh, that one's done. Take a peek at that one. You can see how I'm, I'm slowly roughing it all in and I'm, it's taking shape. It's no longer big and bumpy. So let me change my bit here. You don't gotta work with a 36, you can go up to the 50. You know, that, that one would probably be best for novices and beginners. This, the 36 grid is pretty, it's pretty aggressive, okay? So now that we have that done, we're gonna do the inside. Okay. This bit might blow up quick because I didn't uh, break it in, but don't go up on that. Get this all flat first. That's what you're shooting for is to get this all nice and smoothed into itself. See the bit starting to move? Means I didn't tighten it enough or it got too hot. So you tighten it a little bit get back to your thing. Keep on working it. Now go up each side. Go around, then straight up and down the guide. Nice and lightly. You do not push right here or you'll eat that guide up. Make sure any angle imperfections are taken care of. There goes another bit. It's a pain in the butt, but welcome to porting. Okay. We're almost finished with this one. We almost had this one roughed in. Take a peek. You'll notice the whole difference between these two guides. That one's starting to smooth out. The camera shows a lot of metal imperfection, but that one's super rough. Now, 
We got that one close. We're gonna turn right here. Okay, we're gonna flip it up. We're gonna put our little spring down here, slide it this way. We're gonna start doing this face right here. You see how rough that is? Okay, it's like an ocean of roughness. You're gonna take a new bit. Doesn't take much. Get the, get the base, the valve seat. Up and down motion here. Kind of rough it in, then we start going sideways and we play up, you know, we, we feather. Feather it in. Feather it in, feather it in. Now we take and we cruise around that, just like when we were cutting it. Just smooth it up and get it where we want it. That's roughed in pretty good. See how smooth it got compared to these guys right, right here? They're all boogered up. Okay. Now we're gonna take, we're gonna take uh, a fine sander. We're gonna change bits real quick. I'm gonna give you a real brief, brief uh, fine sanding lesson here. Okay. Start with the clean bit. This bit is the bit you want to work around that valve guide first, okay? It's the most important thing to get the valve guide smoothed up. Take the bit, start working the valve guide. See how it's starting to polish it up a little bit? Start working up the wall. Working up this wall. And your bit will start contouring into the back of the valve guide. That little, that little hook back there. Now look at the guide. The guide is actually super clean. Uh, this camera doesn't really show up very well, but the guide's actually super clean. I don't know if you can see it there, but we'll clean it the rest of the way up here. Turn it to the side, same as last time. We just follow everything that we did. Just start working all those imperfections that you that you put in there with the rough grit, and they'll start coming out slowly but surely. This is the tedious part. Now he's not boosting this vehicle, so we don't have to be you know we don't have to be polished. Understand if you want me to polish your head so a mirror shines, you're gonna pay for it. But if you notice, we're starting to really clean this sucker up. Look how shiny it's starting to get. It's starting to get nice and clean, nice and roughed in. Now we'll go to this side. Start cleaning up your rough, your rough casting that you did with the rough grit. Alrighty, 
We're gonna do another piece here. We're gonna shut the camera off here real quick because we wanna keep this, uh, we wanna try to keep these about 10 minutes a piece. So we'll turn the camera off real quick, turn it right back on.